So according to global company rankings and the top five largest robotic companies in terms of market cap size, the global robotic market is currently valued at just above 75 billion US dollars. While some stock experts say that that number could double to 150 billion US dollars by 2030. What do I think? Well, let's face it. The cost of computation isn't cheap. And while technology and robotics is constantly evolving, the need to stay connected, engaged, and entertained isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So in terms of investing, why wouldn't you park your money in something so sure? Of course, now we're talking about investing in the stock market. So when we look at the largest robotic company in terms of market cap size, the biggest player is Fanuc out of Japan, which is the leading supplier of automation for manufacturing, including robotics, CNCs and motion control, and robo machine machining centers. Plus, I'm sure they've even got a sinister sector within the corporation pushing the advancement of humanoid robots and female companion love bots set to of course surpass and replace your jobs and your spouse. Of course all of which is said with humor of course. I'm actually not sure about that. But one can only dream and imagine. As if you tune in and you've watched one or more of my videos, we talk about robotics, robots, humanoid robots all the time on this channel. But anyways, back to investing and the Fanuc Robotics Company. The largest robotic company to date in terms of market cap size sitting at a $32 billion valuation. Well, put that up against or beside Bitcoin with a market cap sitting around 600 billion or even gold, the most precious metal on earth with a market cap valuation over 12 trillion dollars. What do I think? No thank you. Maybe if I was wanting to park my money, but 2xing a 12 trillion dollars or even a half a trillion dollars in this decade? Maybe not so likely. Now, investing in robotics with a global market cap valuation of only 75 billion, a mere trillion dollar valuation would be more than a 10x. We're talking about turning a thousand dollars into ten thousand dollars or investing ten thousand dollars and turning that into a hundred thousand dollars, guys. Yes, in fact, any one of the top 15 robotic companies. Heck, the Mobilecom Robotics Company in Australia only has a $10 million market cap. Guard Force AI in Singapore only has a $31 million market cap. And I mean, it's robotics, not even focusing on the industrial side, but entertainment, toys, humanoid robots, Female humanoid companion love dolls? Priceless. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck? And all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Let's face it, typically robotics and robots aren't cheap. In terms of the initial cost, maintenance, and the need for extra components, robots need to be programmed with artificial intelligence and programmed to do the task. So if this is true, then how do we get to the year 2077? Fast forwarding the speech about the future of civilization with fully autonomous flying cars and an eVTOL Airbus station 
and Hyperloop bullet trains in every district, connecting us to any district across the world, but rather focusing on our fully autonomous robotic companions that will walk among us in 2077. I was reading a comment someone wrote on one of my videos the other day, and this person wrote, Robots are the future, with or without us, which is true to any physical, material piece of technology. But not putting the notion out there that robots will replace our human species, but in a sense that typically a human being lives to about a 100 years old while fully autonomous robots can live forever. And so if humans truly only live once, a cheap humanoid female robot companion technically doesn't exist. Rewinding and highlighting the word cheap, cheap humanoid female robot companions do not exist. Or else, how do you put a price on an everlasting companionship? Priceless. So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a world expo and it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025 which also happens to be held in osaka japan the same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots which is erica and her creator professor the bad scientist dr hiroshi ishiguru And I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020, it was held in Dubai. In 2030, it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea. But in 2025, the Expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this out. You met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025 Osaka, Kansai, Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. We humans, we've come a long way to get where we are today. Looking back, it's hard to believe what we have achieved. What drives us forward? What spurs us on? It's our insatiable need to learn and know, to do and grow, to twiddle and tweak and 2.0. We humans, we're never done. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. We made levitating trains and open world games, constructed super towers and grids for solar power, made houses smart, turned food into art, built self-driving cars and taught bots to play guitars. But no, we're not done. We found cures for disease, performed symphonies, probed the ocean floors, made machines do our chores, deconstructed quarks, studied great white sharks, sequenced our genomes, and even 3D printed homes. Are we done yet? Oh no, we're not done. In fact, we need to do even more than ever before. Our planet is in need of help. There are challenges we can't ignore. But remember, we are humankind, 
No jobs too big if we set our minds. If we all embrace the spirit that there really is no limit. If we rise to this occasion and come together across nations. If we integrate and ideate, we 